great things were brought into this world in 1984. Um, for example, one would be, I don't know, me. Ha! The film that we are talking about and comparing today came out in 1984. And I'm talking about Stephen King's Firestarter. <laughs> Started 1984 came out starring David Keith as Andy, had a lot clear as Vicky, and a very young Drew Barrymore as Charlie. In 2002, Sci Fi Channel put out a mini series entitled Firestarter Rekindled. And earlier this year, we got a remake with Firestarter 2022, starring what is that guy's name from High School Musical? Oh yeah, that guy. Everything in the Firestar series comes from the novel of the same name written by the wonderful and amazing horror writer Stephen King. Now, a brief summary, which gives you an overview of all of the movies, is that Andy and Charlie McGee are a father and daughter Pair that are running from a government agency known as the shop. Uh, during his college years, Andy participated in an experiment put on by the shop known as Lot 6. During these experiments, he met his future wife, uh, Vicky, who already had minor telekinetic abilities, and Andy developed uh, telepathic abilities in the form of mind control, which is referred to as the push. The push. Fast forward a little bit. They escape the shop. They're released from the shop. Something from the shop. And they get married and they have a baby whose name is Charlie. Charlie's the most adorable little thing in the world. But when the term she's a firecracker is a literal term. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in in both the movies and the novelization, Vicky dies. Charlie and Andy go on the run. And basically all hell breaks loose. I guess this is the point where I say spoiler alert, but um... If you haven't watched any of the Firestarters, then what are you doing with your life? Like, for real, what are you doing with your life right now? Like, right this second, So I was watching this video. The difference is, because these movies have creative license differences between the source material, which is the novel. In the 1984 adaptation of the novel, the 1984 cast includes David Keith as Andy McGee, Drew Barrymore as Charlie, Freddie Jones as Dr. Wallace, Heather Locklear as Vicki McGee, Martin Sheen, yep, Charlie Sheen's papa, as Captain James Holster, and George C. Scott as Rainbird. It is the closest to the actual novel that we have. Um, it starts off, Andy and Charlie are running from the shop and end up on a farm with Irv and Norma. Irv and Norma take him in, feed him lunch, and the shop finds out they're there. And they threaten to do some stuff and Charlie lets loose and now Irv and Norma have a nice little uh, fed barbecue in the front yard. Rainbird kills his boss. Kills Andy. Attempts to kill Charlie. Charlie lashes out, kills him, kills a bunch of people in the shop. And then she ends up making her way back to Irv 
Irma and Nora, and she completes her mission. She started with her dad. 2022. God help us. <laughs> they decided it was a good idea to go back and remake Firestarter. It stars Zac Efron. Yeah, that guy from High School Musical. Ryan Kira Armstrong, Sidney Lemon, Kirk, Kurt Wood Smith, John Beasley, Michael Gray Eyes, and Gloria Rubin. This is a Bloom House production. A couple of things I really like, sort of, and I thought very interesting. Cap is gender swapped. So Cap was played by Charlie Sheen in the original now. Cap is played by Gloria Rubin. There are some key differences in these two versions of the movie. You ready, kids? Andy was dreaming about when Charlie was an infant and she set her stuffed animals on fire. We meet Charlie and Andy when he gets up from his dream and finds her in the kitchen flicking a Zeppo lighter. This movie takes place in the 2000s instead of the 1980s, because why not? The Lot 6 experiment takes place in 2008. Charlie is going to school. In the 1984 movie, she did not go to school. And she's getting bullied. Because her parents do not allow her to have a cell phone, do not allow her Facebook, do not allow internet access because the shop can easily track them if they use these devices. Charlie is in gym class one day and she gets hit with a volleyball in the back of the head. The bullies in her school laugh at her and taunt her and tease her. And she goes to the and she feels herself bubbling and getting ready to hurt somebody with her fire powers. She runs to the bathroom and she blows it up. Vicky and Andy have an argument on how to deal with Charlie, what to do about Charlie. We have to talk about Charlie. And Charlie gets into the argument, yells at them that she hates them, she hates herself because she set fire and much like in the 1984 version and the novelization, Charlie burns her mom's arm. But the burn is much worse than we're led to believe. Oh, because Charlie is so upset that she hurt her mom, Andy takes Charlie out for ice cream. While she's out, Rainbird comes to the house and does what he does best. And if you read the book, watch the 84 version, you know how he takes care of Vicky in the 2022 version, except Vicky actually puts up a pretty good fight. Charlie burns down the house and Andy takes her on the run after they discovered Vicky's body where they discovered. They are running away from the agents they meet up with Irv. Here's the difference. Norma is not conscious. Irv is a little bit twisted in the head. Thanks for that, Bloomhouse. Irv gets drunk as a skunk, and he does things that he does not remember in the morning, or he regrets. They have their little confrontation with the shop. Irv does not make it. I'm <laughs> like in... They capture Andy and take him to this warehouse thing. You see, it's Charlie breaking into the shop, which is this lovely underground bunker. Charlie finds Andy in his nice little cozy locked up glass cage with the cat. Andy pushes Charlie to kill them all. including himself. And she straight carry white. 
the whole thing. It's kind of obvious there's a lot of differences between the 1984 movie and the 2022. I actually like the fact that Andy takes the time to teach Charlie how to control her powers and to not feel guilty about who she uses her powers on. I really, really am actually okay with the 2022 remake. I am just not enough of a fan that I will sit down with a bowl of popcorn and watch it over and over again like I am with the 1984 version. Irv, they did my man Irv wrong. They, they didn't, they, he, did, Irv deserved better than that. Thank you for joining us on this special 13 Nights of Halloween movie review. Oh my god. If you liked what you watched, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you think. Did you like the 2022 reboot or do you think that it was cash trash? Did you like the 84 original? Awesome. Let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Um, but like I said, like, share, subscribe. Also, while you're down there, check out the links to the social medias below. And if you like what we do, if you want to see more of what we do, if you want to see more of our short films, our reviews, our reactions, our gear, want to see us use more, get new gear so we can update stuff, please click on the link to our Patreon and consider becoming a member because you guys get really cool stuff, early access to things that we put out exclusive behind the scenes footage videos and stuff and you'll be the first one to know about everything like everything and i will see you in the next one lovelies bye lovelies <laughs>